Uh, every morning I take a, a walk with my dog and we um, pass by this retirement home uh, every day. And uh, we walk right underneath this sitting room window where there's this lady that sits there all the time. Usually she's alone. And, you know, I started waving to her one day. And, uh, you know, she didn't wave back, which is fine. Um, but in a couple of weeks, she, she started waving. Uh, and it was nice. Uh, it made me happy. And I, I think it makes her happy, too, yet, although she doesn't smile much, so, you know. Um, but it, it's precisely the kind of communion that I like. It's, uh, there's something about the not speaking. Um, you know, it, it's richer somehow, and it's more profound. Uh, there's, it's deeper. Um, more than being two individuals, it's, it's, it's more like we're two members of the same species acknowledging each other's existence and <clears throat> their humanness somehow. I think it has to do with the, the fact that we're separated by a window and, and brick um, <clears throat> and yet we, we still can have this kind of communion. Anyway, it got me thinking about, you know, the, this COVID thing and the struggles that these people face in these retirement homes and even when there's no COVID to deal with, it's a struggle in there sometimes, I'm sure. Um, <clears throat> anyway, it got me thinking and, and I decided to write this tune. Some who've 
left them long ago Maybe they'll meet again And we will leave our touchstone 